All right, good to be here. So raise your hands if, if you've heard me speak before. And keep your hand up if you've done everything we talked about. <laughs> so that's why you're here again, right? We've got to hear it again and again and again. And I'm not immune to that either. Like, you know, we just keep going back to the same stuff that you need to go back to. There's an agent that I know in Louisiana, um, and I love this story. I, I, I tell it quite a bit. And she's a top er agent in her area. Um, and she's not uh, fancy, okay? Kind of a ball cap, tatted kind of gal mm -hmm. that people love. And she has a really good real estate business. And I asked her, and this is a few years ago, I asked her, I said, hey, you do well. You, you, your numbers are impressive year after year after year. And what's, what's your secret? What do you do? And she said, any time, and this goes back to the mm -hmm. kind of going back to the things that we know we need to go back to. She says, any time I feel like I'm off my game, any time I feel like the market is shifting, any time I feel like my pipeline isn't where I want it to be, I go back to Real Estate 101. Every time I focus on 101, this is a top agent, y'all. This is not someone selling $4 million a year. This is someone cranking out you know, 40 transactions a year. She said, I just go back to 101, and when I focus on that, um, it always course corrects my business. So it's like, re remember, remember that. You know, we think, oh, well, I, I want to do this, or I want to do this, or, or we have all these great ideas of things that we may want to do, or maybe there's some big social media campaign that you want to develop in your business. And those things are exciting, but not at the cost of deviating from 101. 